decrease and conquer design technique first let us see general plan for decrease and conquer reduce problem instance to smaller instance of the same problem then solve smaller instance then extend the solution of smaller instance to obtain solution to original instance so these three steps you are required to perform in order to find the solution for a given problem using decrease and conquer design technique this can be implemented using top down or bottom up approach also this way of finding the solution is called inductive or incremental approach so as the name itself suggest that is decrease and conquer the first stage is decrease stage and the second stage is conquering stage <coughs> in the decrease stage the problem star size is to be decreased second stage is conquering stage that is finding the solution conquer means find the solution to the original problem this can be achieved by finding the solution to the smaller instance then extend the solution of smaller instance to get the solution for original problem now we'll see how you can decrease the problem problem can be decreased by three ways the first one is decrease by constant and the second one is decrease by constant factor the next one is decrease variable size decrease <coughs> so let me explain what is uh, decrease by constant here you have given a problem of size n then reduce the problem to the smaller instance of size n minus 1 find the solution to the sub problem then extend this solution to get the solution for the original problem for example let fn equal to a power n so then how do you find a power n minus 1 so assume that already you know the solution for a power n minus 1 <coughs> if you already know the solution for a power n minus 1 then you can find a power n is equal to a power n minus 1 into a that's it so if n is greater than 0 if n equal to 1 then a power 0 is equal to 1 so here the problem is decreased by one. the problem size is decreased by 1 so if you know the solution here already you know the solution for a power n minus 1 then with that you can find the solution for for the problem of size a power next <coughs> we'll see uh, decrease by constant factor given a problem of size n reduce the problem of size n by 2 find the solution to the small sub problem then extend the solution of this sub problem to get the solution to the original problem so assume that already you know the solution for a power n by 2 then you can easily find a power n how by square by squaring this when n is even and positive when n is odd so you need to find if you know already a power n minus 1 divided by 2 just square this into a will give you a power n and as usual the base condition is when n equal to 0 a power 0 is 1 so now we'll see Uh, exponentiation by squaring here you are required to find out a power n by decrease by con decrease by constant factor method so here the problem size is decreased by uh, constant factor 2 now this can be written as a power n is equal to a power n by 2 whole square that already i explained in the previous slide so when n is even <coughs> and the base condition here is a power 0 equal to 1 when n is odd number then this is how you are going to write it so basically what you are doing here is 
we are multiplying that is if you already know a power n by 2 then you are finding the square of this that means multiply a power n by 2 into a power n by 2 so you need to count how many multiplications you are required to do in order to find a power n right so the basic operation performed here is multiplication so the time complexity of this finding the solution for a power n is dependent on number of multiplications performed in order to find a power n so if you want to count how many multiplications is being performed to find a power n then you need to know how many multiplications is being done when the problem is reduced to half plus fn that is if you want to find out solution for a power n you need to know a power n by 2 so here when n is even you are doing one multiplication look at here 3 power 4 then if you already know 3 square if you already know 3 square then how do you find 3 power 4 just square it that is 9 square 9 into 9 only one multiplication if you want to find out 3 power 5 already you have found what is 3 square so 3 square into 3 square that is 9 into 9 into 3 so two multiplications you are doing so fn can take the value 1 or 0 <coughs> sorry 1 or 2 and when n is equal to 0 a power 0 equal to 0 so this is how you can write the recurrence relation to compute a power n by decrease by constant factor method look at here we will analyze this algorithm for 3 power 4 so in order to find out 3 power 4 so you need to know what is 3 square that means this problem will call again 3 square so in order to find out 3 square it will multiply 3 into 3 that is 9 that is equal to 9 so already we know what is 3 square it's 9 so 9 into 9 is 3 power 4 so here one multiplication and here another multiplication in order to find out 3 power 4 only two multiplications is being performed in case if you want to find the solution by using brute force so what brute force is a power n is nothing but multiply a n times so how many multiplications you are required to do here three multiplications you are required to do that is a that is 3 into 3 then into 3 into 3 so three multiplications you are required to do in brute force but in decrease by constant factor you are you can able to find the solution for 3 power 4 by multiplying this 9 into 9 that is 1 multiplication in order to find out 9 that is 3 square 1 multiplication totally only 2 multiplications you are doing in order to find out 3 power 4 but in brute force it is 3 multiplication here also in order to find out 3 power 5 1 2 then for this to find 3 square you are doing one more multiplication only three multiplications to three multiplications you are doing uh, but in uh, <coughs> brute force you need to perform four multiplications so in general you are required to find out the number of multiplications in order to find out a power n so if you want to know what is a power n okay so you need to know mn multiplication so, uh, in order to find a power n, you need to know what is a power n by 2. In order to find a power n by 2, so you need to know how many multiplications is being done when the problem size is n by 2 plus 
f n so that is when n is odd one multiplication and when n is even, sorry when n is even one multiplication and when n is odd two multiplications are performed so m0 equal to 0 so when you apply the master theorem this is a solution what you are going to get now we'll see what is decrease by constant factor so decrease by constant factor the name itself will suggest you that in every iteration problem size is reduced by reduced by uh, in a real case problem size is reduced by constant factor but here the problem size reduction is not constant it's variable so here it varies from one iteration to another iteration so example here is euclid's algorithm uh, for finding greatest common divisor partition based algorithm for selection problem then interpolation search then some algorithms are binary search algorithms nim and nim like games so now in decrease by constant factor algorithm <coughs> So binary search and the method of bisection, then exponentiation by squaring, Russian peasant method, then fake coin puzzle, Josephus problem. These are the example for decrease by constant factors. Factor. Uh, sorry. No. So I was discussing this variable size decrease here. So in variable size decrease, as I told you that the problem size uh, reduction varies from iteration to iteration. For example, to find the GCD of these two numbers, 80 and 44. So first look at here, the problem size is reduced like this. And next iteration like this and here like this. So the problem reduction is obviously dependent on the second number. So let me summarize what we have discussed in decrease and conquer. As I told you that in, uh, in decrease and conquer, there are two stages. The first stage is decrease the problem size and then conquer stage. That is find the solution for the original problem. So this problem reduction can be done in three ways. The first way is decrease by a constant decrease by a constant factor and the third method is variable size decrease decrease by a constant examples examples are insertion sort graph traversal algorithm dfs and bfs topological sorting then algorithms for generating combinatorial objects like permutations and subsets etc so in this chapter you are going to study these algorithms that is insertion sort, graph traversal algorithms, topological sorting and algorithms for generating combinatorial objects. So now, uh, so already you have learned what brute force is, divide and conquer technique and here I have just given you introduction what is decrease and conquer that is decrease by one especially when I say decrease by constant it is the problem size is decreased by 1 and decrease by constant factor here you are decreasing by factor 2. So when you apply these techniques to find uh, a power n, okay, I wanted you to find the difference like what will happen to complexity of the algorithm. Thank you.